my beautiful people. Welcome back to another gorgeous day. Um, today I'm super excited. I got some new This Little Piggy pigment colors in and I'm dying to play with them and see what happens. The first one we're using is this gorgeous one. This is called Psych. Let me show you. This is Psych. So pretty. Psych! Kind of a gorgeous neon-y turquoise, which I'm really looking forward to. I'm excited about this one. And the other one that we're using today is called Mint Chip, which is one of my favorite flavors of ice cream. And I love this pale, like, celadon green. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. I love this. So that's Mint Chip. Um, the rest of the ones that I'm using are leftovers because my finger is still broken and does still hurt. <laughs> this is a 16 by 20 inch gallery wrapped canvas from Artist Loft. I have taped and pinned the back and put my push pins in and I've painted my sides and edges. So uh, let me show you the other colors we're using. This is Golden's Payne's Gray and I chose this one. I actually mixed this one up today because I want something with a lot of contrast between these two. And I think that's how the piggies always show up best if they're contrasting against something lighter or darker than themselves. So this is our Payne's Gray. Um, I also have some Golden's Thalo Blue here. And I think this is Prussian Blue. So we have three, mid -tone, three different colors of blues. I have a tiny bit of 24 karat gold and I have some white. So for a 16 by 20, we need 11.4 ounces of paint. I have two cups here. That means I only really need about six or seven or eight ounces. So I'm going to just fill these up probably. And if I have a little bit of extra, that's okay too. Um, let's see. We're going to start with... Hmm, I'm going to start with a little bit of the mint chip in one of them. Uh, in both of them. Okay. We'll layer them the same. It'll be pretty. And then we're going to come right in with that beautiful Payne's Gray. And then I'm going to put just a smidge of white in there. And a little bit of gold. Okay. A little bit of gold. Okay. Now we're going to come in with our Prussian blue. Psych in there, that beautiful neon. I'm gonna put a bit of a thicker layer of that one. That's pretty. Um, I'm gonna put some white on the other side of that. And a little bit more gold. Going with this pretty phthalo blue with some streaks of purple in it, apparently. How did that happen? Ooh, the paints were having a party, apparently, when I wasn't here. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, there's a little bit of blue in the mint chip. A thicker layer of mint chip. And we're going to come back to that paints. So if you'll notice, I'm actually putting very high contrasty colors on either side of those new piggies that I'm using. And I'm going a little heavier with the panes because I want that to be the main backgroundy color. Um, we just use the... Let's go back to the Psyche again as we're getting to the top of the cup. Piggies, I like to keep them thick. A little bit of gold. I don't, know if I, have enough, I don't have enough gold to do a runway. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, what am I going to do? <laughs> Panic. Panic at the discount. Wait. No, actually, I might use that mint chip. Because <laughs> it's really pretty. Okay, let's see. So we're going to do that same wanderlust pour with the wandering straight pour from two opposite directions. And I am going to use the mint chip as my base coat color because I really do like it. I 
Okay, and if we get cells of this color popping up through there, I'm totally okay with that. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love. Semper Paratus. Here we go. with that happy with all of this I love that okay now we're gonna start over here are you ready husband of awesomeness yes my love Had those two puddles of paint duking it out with each other. <laughs> All right. This side's a little darker than I anticipated, but I still like it. Okay, let's take our chopstick friend. And we're just going to do a little bit of like, rather than doing loop de loops, well, maybe we'll do one. sitting for a while in case you can't tell All right. but I did stir it up this morning all right let's go around it on keeping that center section and I do really like both of these edges over here really cool with a tiny bit of purple that was in the cups it's pretty awesome what happened okay I'm loving what's happening here though. I love that psych. It's so pretty. And the mint chip in there is so pretty too. I see more of the psych in the pour than I do the mint chip, but the mint chip is here really prominently. And I love this like ribbon candy that we got over here. That's really cool. Okay. So let's see. Let's find where the weight of the paint is. Right about there. We're gonna go off this way first.
center. We're gonna go off this edge now. This part up here at the top reminds me of that paper from Venice mm. that's all marbled. Yep. What's happening over there? Look at that lake. Just let it float down. Get off of that edge. Take this back to the middle. And open up that center. Wow, I love that. What are you thinking? Yeah. That's awesome. Okay. I like it. I like it a lot. Alright. I'm not going to mess with it anymore. Even though I'm tempted to, I'm not going to touch it. Because <laughs> I really like what's happening in here. And I don't want to change any of it. And if I touch it at all, it will change. So we're going to leave the alone. <laughs> but I will point. I love all of this. That's so funny. There was just one drop of purple and it gave us so much purple in the painting. That's kind of funny to me. I love the psych in there with the mint chip. So this part's beautiful. I love this dark Payne's gray where you can see all these lines. That's probably the mint chip in there, maybe. We'll see, but this is mint chip. And there's Psych, so this is kind of awesome. I will show you guys when it's dry. Thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. We'll be right back. <laughs> Look at these, HOA. Hey, Maybe you should call this paint party after hours. <laughs> <laughs> right? This is a few days later now. I am amazed. <laughs> this one came out so, so pretty and so blingy and so sparkly. What these colors are just gorgeous. This one had mint chip in there and psych and some Payne's gray and a little bit of white and some gold. And remember we had just a drop of purple in one of the cups and it put so much into the painting. But my absolute favorite part right here, I see this bird like flying and taking off his beak and one wing going up and spreading out so pretty all of these gorgeous fingerlings i think that's the mint chip in there really really pretty stuff so blingy and beautiful so i'm really really happy with this one i love how this turned out all of these gorgeous colors and these fingerlings all stretched out so this is awesome. So I have a little bit of news. Unfortunately, in my last doctor's appointment, the alignment of my healing bone has shifted and I will be having surgery on my finger next week. So <laughs> uh, hopefully it will heal pretty quickly, but we might be taking a break from the Wednesday videos. I do have a few more to show you guys, so I'll keep posting on Sundays. But uh, yeah, <laughs> so please cross your fingers that my finger surgery goes well, no pun intended, and um, <laughs> we'll be back real soon. So thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Appreciate all of you so much. Please make sure you catch everybody else in our premiere train, and uh, we'll see you real soon. Thanks for being here. Have a great day. Bye-bye. What do you got? Got an apple? It's crunchy, huh? <laughs> He likes how it feels. Is that good, Baxter? I gave you a snack with your apples. Baxter. Eat them. <laughs> you like them, huh? You just gotta take the seeds out. Don't give the puppies the core. But 
apples are good for babies, huh, Lexi? 